Do you want to punch your opponents in outer space? Do you want to chop their heads off with ridiculous looking weapons? Do you want to bust them upside the head with a guitar? Do you want to fight killer chickens, fight giant killer chickens, get bullied by giant killer chickens all while using a fork and a knife? Then you're in the right place. Hi, my name is Dream Chasing and I'll be teaching you how to do all that and so much more in this video by installing simple mods onto your Quest 2. Let's get to the browser. All right, now that we're in the browser, what you want to do is come up here and type in Nexus Mods. That's N-E-X-U-S Mods, all right? So go to the first link. After that, what you want to do is go to the top right corner and you want to create an account. I already have an account, uh, but take it some time to create an account. Once you finish creating an account, you just click on Nexus Mods right here and it'll bring you back to the home screen where I'm at right now. All right, so now what you want to do is go to Browse All Files. And what you want to do is go to Games, type in Blade, and you'll see right here the top two searches are Blade and Sorcery and Blade and Sorcery Nomad. We're here for Blade and Sorcery Nomad on the quest, right? Click on that. So you'll already start seeing that there is a bunch of mods. Uh, there's 10 pages worth of mods right now. When I first looked at it, it was only like, I would say four, three, four. Uh, but yeah, they literally add new mods every day. So let's uh, let's get a random mod here. Let me look through these. Here, let, let's just get this, uh, I guess it's Demon Blood Sword uh, from Adventure Time. Uh, let's see what you wanna do is go to manual. You wanna click on the download for that. And there's two different versions. If you bought the premium version, good for you. But me, I'm gonna stick with the free version. Slow download, but it's not that serious. Uh, it takes, it's really fast, it doesn't take that long. So four seconds, and then we're gonna wait and see the, uh, the install down here. Once it's done, it'll be in a zipped folder, right? So you always wanna put show in folder. Click on that. It'll be right here, it says Demon Sword right here. So you wanna right click that, go to extract all because it's zipped up. Whenever you have a zipped folder, you wanna extract it so you can get the full folder, right? Just press extract. Now this is what you want, right? So right click that, you wanna copy that. Now you can, you can exit out of all of this. Now what you wanna do is head over to your quest and you want to plug it into your pc and you should get a screen looking something like this when you get this screen you always want to click allow and when that happens that's basically letting your pc access your quest and all of its files so you can download the things on there right all right once that's done you want to go back into your files then you want to go to this pc down here, you should have Quest 2. Once you went in there, you uh, accept it, and you should have Quest 2 on your PC. So you click on that, go to internal shared storage. So now here, here's the part you gotta really pay attention, all right? So you want to go to Android. Find Android, click on that. Click on data. Now, I don't know how many games you have, but it doesn't really matter, you just wanna find Warp Frog, Blade, and Sorcery. Click on that. Go to Files up here. Then you wanna go to Mods. If you don't have a Mods folder, all you gotta do is create one. It's, you know, just put a mod in there, uh, put a folder in there, and then you put Mods in there. Click on there, I have a bunch of Mods, but all I have to do now is right click, and you copied it before, all you have to do is now paste it. And there you go. Now all you have to do is hop back into your quest. If you had Blade and Sorcery booted up before, uh, I would say restart it because the mods won't be on there until you restart it. Uh, after, you don't have to start your whole quest, just restart the game and you should be fine. Let's get into the quest so I can show you the mod. All right, now that we're back in Blade and Sorcery, I can, oh, there's a book right there. I can go over here and it should be in, hmm, it's not in Swords. Let me look around for it. I think it's, oh, it's an exotics. Okay, so we can take this and here we go. This is this is what I wanted to show y'all. This is the mod. Uh, we got the demon blade. Now we can, I think we can imbue this actually. So here we go, there we go. 
yeah you can actually imbue certain types of weapons got the fire got the electricity and you got the gravity downloading mods is really simple in blades and sorcery nomad i'm not gonna lie to you guys if you liked what you've seen here today make sure to like and subscribe and when you do subscribe leave a comment i would love to read that as always my name is dream chasing and i'll see y'all in the next video peace